Jack's Corner. Tonight we're going to look at um, sidewalks. Uh, we are uh, resin sidewalks. We're going to learn how to paint them and sometimes they come a little bit bent. We'll show you how to straighten those and that's what we're going to look at tonight. So stay tuned. Okay, so we'll discuss the things we need to do what we're going to do tonight with the sidewalks. Um, there's a couple things we're going to do. First, we're going to, I need some water and this water should be hot to the touch. Um, not boiling, but hot to the touch. This is just my water to clean my brush. This is a uh, camouflage paint. It happens to be earth brown. We have a white. We have a, it's basically an orange color for the brick. We have a black. And then this is just paint thinner. Um, any kind of thinner, probably paint thinner will do. A um, couple of brushes. You need one that's a flat brush. Um, some disposable gloves and a piece of terry cloth. The first thing we want to look at is if you look at our resin sidewalks, sometimes they have a little bit of a bend to them and sometimes that makes them hard to glue down. So what we're going to do is straighten them. So what you want to do is get some water, get it hot enough so when you put your finger in it's really hot to the touch but not boiling. Then I'm just going to set that piece in like that. We're going to let it sit there till it gets to the temperature of the water. Uh, then you're going to fish it out. I'm, I won't do it because I don't have a thing with me. but. Then you're going to take that hot piece. It should be warm up to the touch. I'm going to put it on a flat surface and then I'm going to put something nice and flat on it and leave it there till it dries. And when it dries, it should relax and be flat and straight and easy, much easier to glue to the, build, to the sidewalk. That's what we're looking for. Well, we're going to be using some spray paint. So what I'd like to do is make sure you put some gloves on because you're going to be handling it. And the other thing you want to make sure is you're well ventilated or outside or in a spray booth because you don't want to be breathing this stuff. So take your precautions, please. Thank you. All right, once you've uh, let it cool down and dry, um, it'll be flat then. This one is still a little curved because I didn't couldn't wait. But what we're gonna do now is I will need to do a base coat. We're gonna paint this a base coat. I'm gonna use this earth, uh, let's see, they call it earth brown. It's Rust-Oleum earth brown, great camouflage color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna move this out of the way. And I'm going to spray it like this. Then I'm going to take a piece of terry cloth and I'm going to rub off across the top surface like that. Just like that. And then I'm going to set it aside and let it dry. Once we let the uh, black dry, or the brown dry, it's actually brown, we're going to now paint our top of our this happens to be brick side, but we're going to talk, paint the top of the bricks. We don't want to paint the curbing, we just want to paint the bricks. And for that, I'm going to use, a, uh, this is a, just an orange. You want to get some kind of an orange. Shake it up a little bit, open the top. I like to use the top of the cap as my little uh, palette. I'm going to take a flat brush, I'm going to dip it in, to knock a little bit off, and I'm going to paint across the tops lightly, just like this. Just, I, I try not to get it in the cracks. I'm just trying to get the top. Put a, you can put two coats on it. Don't get it on the curb if you can help it. I'll do half of this so you can see we don't want to be here all, all day. Now we've let the orange dry. Make sure it's really good and dry because we're going to dry brush over the top and we don't want it mixing in. So you can see it here that it, we've got it all done. And the black is showing through and the curb is still this grayish color. We're going to lighten the curb a little bit too when we do it. So I'm going to take a white, just a plain old white acrylic paint. And I'm going to do the same thing, but we're going to dry brush it this time. So what I'm going to do is dip it in here and I'm going to scrub a lot off. And then I'm going to lightly go across the top of the sidewalk. Not a lot, but just going to lightly do it. We're going to catch some of this here. Just light brush. That's one of the things they call about dry brush. You're lightly doing it. You're high, doing highlights, that's all. If you get a little bit too much of this, uh, you can go back over it with a little ink and alcohol or Hunter's line. Um, it'll darken it up a little bit. But what we're trying to do is just highlight the bricks, the edges of the bricks, and uh, make them look a little more worn. Now 
and that's basically it. All done. Ready for the next one. You can do, um, if you do multiple ones, just remember when you spray on the brown spray paint, you wanna wipe it off right away and then do the next spray the next one. Don't do a whole bunch and then try to wipe them off. You wanna wipe them off quickly so you can get the paint off the top so it just leaves in the cracks. So that's basically all we're done. Now you see how we do it and I think what I'll do is just go over it quick so you guys can have a kind of quick uh, overview. So the first thing we did is we sprayed it with the earth brown and wiped it right away so it just left it in the cracks and in the crevices. Then we, uh, not dry brush, but just over the tops of the bricks with the orange. Then we did a uh, dry brushing of white and got my curbs done. Don't forget we have the corners. So if you wanna uh, add a little sidewalk here, you can put these right angle corners right in. They fit right together like this and you can get yourself a nice little corner like that or you can cut them with a, with a fine tooth saw and you can make them any angle you want. So this is the easiest way to do it that I know of. Uh, the next step you gotta do is next you gotta glue them down. And the last thing we want to talk about is, is how do we attach these to our either diorama or our layout. Um, a couple ways, the two ways that I know of is you can use a uh, water-based contact cement or you can use AC, um, maybe even goo if you wanna try, give it a try, but goo is kind of a contact cement. So you wanna make sure you get them after you flatten them, remember you flatten them at the beginning, you wanna get them on as quick as you can, not as quick as you can, but don't let them sit for three or four, five, six, seven, eight days. It might, it might begin to relax back. So you wanna glue them right down. Glue them right down, dust them up a little bit, put some dirt around them. And Detail you're all that you can add to your layout or your diorama that makes a lot, a lot of sense because they look really, really good. So you've seen how we do it. You can try it yourself, try it on a piece. Let her go and you'll be all set to make sidewalks go. Thanks for watching.